News for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the TV series. Uh, Paramount Plus unveiled the first look of the tales of the Ninja Turtles. Some people like the way they look. Some people do not. Uh, where do you fare with that? Where do you stand? I'm in the middle, man, because I I always enjoyed the classic 80s TV show, and I always kind of want it to go back that way. But I have to understand that, you know, things change. Art styles adapt over time. Um, media is not always made with adults in mind. They're probably thinking more about what do the next generation of kids want? What are they growing up looking at? What do they listen to? What are the behaviors of the turtles? They're not they're not the same as they were when we were kids. Things were different. You know, we were saying words like Calabunga and Radical Dude and all these all this 80s slang that, you know, has kind of shifted. So yeah. as each movie comes out, each TV show, video game, the turtles are going to change. But inherently, they're still the same characters. It's still the same lovable concept and the same enemies. So at the end of the day, I think I'm still going to be watching, man. What about you? Yeah, so I think for me, they're still going to be the Ninja Turtles, but there are certain parts of the culture that they're, we're going to see during that current creation or current adaptation of the Turtles. So, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, dances or TikToks or uh, different technologies, of course, Donatello and the Turtles are going to, right? You know what I'm saying? They're going yeah. to like yeah, take that in. Yeah, they're going to be awesome, man. They're yeah. going to be, they're going to take that in and even do some dances, you know, that came from, from TikTok. You know what I mean? So I yeah, think they are. Some, they are. Some, some individuals, when they're thinking about it, it's like, oh, you know, I just want the same, you know, Turtles that I had when, I, I don't know if we're always going to, to get the same thing. Even with Sonic, we've huh. gotten some, some different Sonic, you know, characters. Mm -hmm throughout the year. So I think it's, it's fun to see the changes and the adaptation of culture. My thing is, you know, whatever you're doing, just keep the same, um, super, uh, their, the, their ability to fight is always going to be there. We know they're amazing ninjas, you know, keep that. Mm -hmm. They love pizza. Keep that right. There's just certain things that you're not going to remove, you know, from, yes. from the franchise itself. Like when they're solo, uh, they can be defeated when they're together. Nobody can defeat them. It can be aliens from outer space. It doesn't matter. You know, you're going to keep those things. But culturally, they're going to adapt to the things that's happening uh, in real time. So I don't have an issue with it. Mm -hmm. And even some people have issues with, you know, what happened with Master Chief and, you know, being able to, you know, not have his emotions suppressed anymore because of of the pill removal and all that stuff. And I think people are like, ah, oh, I don't know if I wanted to see that. But there are just certain <laughs> things that's going to adapt for you know, our attention, especially our attention on screen. And, th and that time, you know, has actually diminished because of the TikToks and the shorts and all the things that we watch now, you know, so getting our attention and keeping our attention on screen is going to be uh, a challenge, you know, for a lot of companies and some companies do it well and, and some are still working on it. So I'm here for it. I think there's a lot going on with the turtles that you can enjoy. Absolutely, man. Yeah. So, so that's what's going on with the turtles. 